GE Digital's customers want to use data really to harness predictive insights. When they can take the data that they've got and determine you know, what's going to happen next. How can I trigger my operations to be more efficient ahead of the game? And that could be for a specific production line, for a full plant, or even across their entire enterprise. It's pretty exciting for them to be able to apply analytics and, and really be more in control of what's gonna happen. Hello everyone and welcome to our Prophecy CSENSE 2023 update briefing. My name is Sarah Osell and I'm a senior marketing manager here at GE Digital. With Prophecy CSENSE this year, we're excited to share a lot of updates and how we help you drive efficiency and even sustainability in your operations. But first I'd like to go over our safe harbor disclaimer. The information presented is intended to be an outline of general product direction, and it should not be relied on in making a purchasing decision. All right, so you should all see an interface in front of you. It's got some colorful buttons at the bottom. Um, just to go over some navigation, through the orange chat bubble button, you can enter any of your questions throughout the event. We'll be sure to answer them at the end, and any that we don't get to um, we will be following up after the event, so please feel free to share any, any thoughts or questions that you have. Through the purple envelope button, you can contact our team. Through the blue paperclip icon button, we've got some great customer stories and additional resources. One that I do want to highlight is our six hours of industrial analytics consulting with Purchase. Um, so please do check that out. We'd love to help you get started. Um, through the orange person icon, you can contact with your uh, product manager today for CSense. Through the uh, question mark icon, you can access any technical assistance throughout the event. The first thing you should always try if you're having any issues is just refreshing your browser. That should reset things. Then we've got a pink kind of uh, checklist icon. Uh, we do have a feedback survey today, uh, so this will help drive innovation in the future. So if you have any ideas for the product or things you want to see, please do share those. We'd, we'd love to continue um, bringing those into the product that you use. All right. And now I'd like to welcome to the screen your product manager, Kobus Van Heerden. Hi everyone, it's fantastic to be with you today to um, tell you more about our exciting upcoming CSENSE 2023 release. So to start, let's start by looking at a overview of our Prophecy product strategy. In our Prophecy product portfolio, we focus this year on five key themes or pillars, including connected worker, smart factory and lean, enterprise-wide operations, circularity and sustainability, and flexible deployment. In this way, we, through our Prophecy product portfolio, will help workers be more productive through enabling them with the information they need, uh, where and when they need it. Uh, we will help to optimize the operations of industrial manufacturing plants through our MES and other Prophecy uh, products. We will enable enterprise-wide operations so that our customers can easily standardize and optimize their manufacturing operations from a single plant to enterprise-wide. We will also help them facilitate <clears throat> and accelerate their circularity and sustainability journeys through our software. And also, lastly, enable them to start at any level uh, with only what they need and scale up easily to enterprise-wide capabilities through flexible deployment. And, you know, the way our Prophecy CSEN software will contribute, it will just help our customers uh, be more active uh, operations in their industrial plants, as well as uh, help them to, again, provide the analytics capabilities and optimization capabilities for uh, this, this, their sustainability efforts. In other words, to help them not only be more, more productive, but be more sustainable in their operations. If we take a, a overview and look at our wider prophecy portfolio, <clears throat> for
for many years, GE Digital Manufacturing has provided uh, industrial uh, automation operation software to industry um, spanning across various uh, automation levels from automation to manufacturing operations management to enterprise business operations. And here you can see our full portfolio from, you know, our SCADA products, our MES historian. You can see, uh, you know, workflow scheduling, visualization, and our two analytics offerings, including Prophecy CSense, uh, which is our topic for today, but also including our cloud uh, enterprise analytics solution called Prophecy Operations Analytics. And how these two play is essentially Prophecy Operations Analytics provides enterprise analytics solution uh, for OEE optimization where our Prophecy CSense product provides comprehensive process optimization software for manufacturing plants, um, you know, with flexible on-premise or cloud VM-based deployment. Our focus for today, however, is our Prophecy CSense uh, analytics offering and specifically our new upcoming exciting um, Prophecy CSense 2023 release. So if we move on and take a look at our G digital manufacturing analytics strategy, the main thing that we are seeing at G digital manufacturing, if we look at, um, you know, the indus industry data, as well as our experience in industry, uh, is that, that the time is right, is right now for customers to get uh, maximum value by implementing analytic solutions to optimize their productivity and sustainability um, you know we see that through surveys like this one which has already been a year or two ago but just the way that customers are scaling up in in starting to implement and adopt ai machine learning and analytics and optimization solutions to really drive maximum benefit uh, you know from their data uh, that comes from all their operational software what we're also seeing is that our customers, you know, are obviously, you know, start from small manufacturing plants to large enterprises. And customers are at different stages of maturity in adopting uh, and leveraging um, and rolling out and implementing advanced analytics solutions. Uh, um, and, and for that reason, our uh, analytics offerings has been so structured so we can support customers through this journey of adopting, implementing, rolling out and benefiting from analytic solutions um, where, you know, the, what you're looking at here is essentially a quite a well-known analytics framework uh, from LNS research that just shows that, you know, generally the maturity journey of adopting analytics starts from just using analytics to describe what has happened based on available data to understand what is the current situation in a manufacturing plant. Um, then you can move on to use it to, to answer the why question. Why did it happen? So use it for to diagnose uh, causes, to analyze what has ha happened, to gain insight. Then, you know, you can move it, move on um, to, to become predictive and proactive to use AI machine learning and analytics to ask the question, what will happen? What performance can I expect if I operate, continue to operate in the current way? And then lastly, <clears throat> you know, what is the right action? What is the optimal actions? What should I should be doing right now? And where are the what are the best settings for my manufacturing plant uh, at every moment in time to consistently get optimal productivity and sustainability in my operations? Now, these uh, talk to sort of stages of adoption, maturity, but also increasing value and complexity. And my main point here is that we have structured our analytics offerings to enable customers to, to join us, you know, anywhere on this journey and to start small and grow to uh, more value, more complexity. And we address all of these, provide all of these capabilities through our uh, two analytic solutions. 
also, not only does analytics, um, <clears throat> we, we recognize that it, it, it is a, you know, the industry, there's plants small to large enterprises uh, across industries at various maturity levels of adoption of analytics, but also the value that analytics, AI, machine learning software uh, essentially stack, starting from your individual control level, whether it's sensors, uh, you know, control loops to optimize the performance of uh, individual regulatory control loops, whether it's in PLC, SCADAs, uh, DCSs, um, to optimizing the performance of individual unit operations like reactors or specific parts of a process, um, to optimizing and maximizing the productivity and sustainability and performance of the whole production line or plant, be that uh, minimizing downtime or improving quality or throughput or, you know, energy, reducing energy or wages consumption, all the way to uh, enterprise-wide analytics where you want to be optimizing maybe, you know, uh, comparing benchmarking plants or product lines across different plants, etc. And so for that reason, our offering enables that through our two specific, uh, you know, analytics offerings, uh, in, namely Prophecy CSENS as well as Prophecy Operations Analytics, which I have mentioned before. Um, so not only do we recognize maturity, but we recognize that the value that analytics unlock goes from sensor to enterprise. <clears throat> and that is covered by our two offerings. So let's look at what is the what is an industrial analytics then used for and, and why is it important? Well, industrial analytics software is really used to optimize the performance of assets, processes, and operations in manufacturing plants using all the operational data produced by operational software from across the production value chain. And why this is difficult is that often these OT data is siloed in different systems. And, you know, once it is combined in context, you know, industrial systems in the plants, whether it's, you know, unit operations or the whole plant, it's just complex. It has too many variables for uh, typically for humans to analyze and just too much data. And so it uh, uses advanced algorithms to sort of model understand the behavior of the process or the plant using the available data and to find correlations and to optimize uh, performance using the latest in AI, ML and optimization algorithms. And in this way, industrial analytic software uh, helps, uh, you know, industrial customers to proactively and quickly identify problems, discover root causes, and just optimize, um, you know, performance, be more, uh, be more efficient with energy usage, material usage, uh, maximize throughput quality, etc. The way this is done is that you know, industrial analytics software really helps customers to to reduce variability in performance, it's because uh, essentially. Variability is, is created in many ways. It can come from variability in, um, in, in the decisions, human uh, variability in the raw materials we use in our, from our suppliers, variability in ambient environmental conditions. So there's variability all around us resulting in variability in performance like throughput, quality, energy usage, etc. What analytics enable customers to do is to reduce, understand that variability, reduce that variability, and then maximize performance. So uh, optimize the process performance, whether that performance is throughput, yield, energy, uh, or quality. And so that is exactly what Prophecy CSENS enables our industrial customers to do. Prophecy CSENS is industrial analytics software for asset process or operations optimization that is self-service and easy to use it's aimed at process engineers to enable engineers to be able to use uh you know the software in a self-service way without the dependence on data scientists necessarily 
However, it allows engineers and data scientists, both of these users, to collaborate effectively and innovate together to continuously optimize and imp improve uh, operations performance. Also, CSENS provides is unique in the sense that it provides a five-in-one capabilities all the way from enabling customers um, to, to analyze, monitor, predict, simulate, and optimize all the way from offline analysis to closed-loop real-time control and optimization. And then lastly, we have deliberately <clears throat> uh, the pricing model we've designed in a way that it's very accessible. And so any factory, large or small, can start at any time with available budget, you know, start small and scale up to full plant deployments and to multi-plant enterprise deployments with value. Seasons is unique in the sense that it uniquely integrates five self-service capabilities for engineers in a single product in a comprehensive way and in that way it provides comprehensive uh, process optimization solution that includes analysis monitoring prediction simulation and optimization capabilities uniquely in a single product and that makes it very comprehensive and also quite unique in the market analysis being that it enables engineers and customers to use all their available data to rapidly analyze, <clears throat> um, you know, variation and understand variation to identify problems, to automatically identify the root cause of issues, to understand how things can be improved and why things happen using easy analysis tools. Secondly, it can be configured to monitor various aspects of the equipment process or plant from sensors, control loops, you know, to process lines to create and detect issues before it becomes problems and create early warnings. Thirdly, it, it contains AI ML capabilities uh, that can be configured to predict, proactively predict or forecast performance like throughput quality energy wages, um, you know, ahead of time so that proactive actions can be taken and industrial organizations can move from a reactive to proactive sort of operations management. It also in includes simulation capabilities where engineers can create digital twin, process digital twin models and use those models for what if simulations that really just enables uh, more accurate decisions faster at a lower cost. And lastly, it also includes complete uh, optimization and advanced process control capabilities that enables uh, you know, engineers and, and customers to, con to, to configure it to really optimize the settings and the set points in manufacturing plants to maximize performance like quality throughput, uh, yield, etc. Uh, in our experience, often by up to 10%. The way CSENS provides value is that it enables customers to firstly understand variation, the causes of performance variation rapidly from available data through easy analysis tools for engineers. Secondly, then through implementing monitoring prediction and forecasting, performance become more consistent. So customers can see consistent quality throughput yield. Configuring and deploying optimization and advanced control solutions and simulation solutions um, can really optimize and push the process and the plant to maximum performance consistently by allowing CSENS to recommend or even in closed loop uh, control and calculate optimal settings for the process to ensure consistent maximum uh, uh, productivity and sustainability. The seasons consist out of three main product components. Firstly, <clears throat> easy analysis tools for engineers called troubleshooters, with which engineers can use available data and analyze it really quickly to gain new insight, to understand variation, to answer all the why questions. Secondly, it consists out of drag and drop analytics development and testing environment called the seasons architect 
which is where engineers, data scientists can collaborate to configure uh, and test and develop analytic solutions for real-time continuous process analysis, monitoring, prediction, simulation, optimization. And once these solutions are tested and, uh, and, and ready for deployment, the third component is a runtime where these solutions can then be deployed to run permanently in production, reading data from multiple systems as required, doing valuable calculations, for example, and, and writing the valuable outputs back to uh, any of your OT systems as required, which can be things like valuable calculated new outputs or early warnings or alerts or alarms. Um, or predictions, forecasts, uh, simulated or uh, optimally calculated process set points or settings, uh, even for closed loop real time control, for example. So, three components troubleshooters for analysis, architect for development and testing and configuration of analytic solutions, and then a runtime for executing, deploying, and executing analytics uh, in production. And the outputs of these analytics can then be deployed in our standard web UI, which is called Oper Prophecy Operations Hub, um, you know, which is a separate product from Prophecy CSense, but a, the freemium version of Prophecy Operations Hub does ship with every CSense runtime included license to display the pre-configured or pre-built CSENS apps that we have uh, in the web UI, which we will talk about later, uh, called the uh, CSENS Process Plus, our PID controller performance monitoring, um, is can then be dis the, the displayed in our uh, web UI, standard web UI, which is Prophecy Operations Hub. Prophecy CSENS is not a new or experimental product, but a mature, and proven product. And here you can see that <clears throat> a variety of stories of how customers all over the world across different industries today are benefiting from uh, using CSENS to analyze, monitor, predict, simulate, and optimize their processes. And typically getting up to 10% or more productivity and performance improvements. Uh, you see food companies water companies, energy companies, uh, paper, mining, metals, gas, you know, brewing. So across industries, customers are benefiting of and optimizing their productivity using CSENS. And if you want to read more detailed success stories that's available, feel free uh, to access it at the link shown uh, on the slide. So let's move on to <clears throat> now to uh, remind um, all of you about recently released capabilities. So what were some of the most important recently released capabilities before we move on to what's new in the upcoming 2023 release? Last year, 2022, <clears throat> we continue to improve the product uh, by significantly improving our uh, process plus control loop uh, monitoring web application uh, for Prophecy Operations Hub. So like I men mentioned before, when any customer buys CSense, we ship it with a freemium Prophecy Ops Hub uh, license. And CSense includes a pre-packaged productized Ops Hub app, web app for PID control loop monitoring. The solution is called Process Plus. And so Last year in Service Pack 1, we made significant announcements to that. We made it easier for customers also to templatize their analytics and deploy and manage these templates at scale, made further improvements to our Python integration and the deployment speeds of uh, analytics at scale. But that brings us to the exciting topic of today, which is um, what's new in our upcoming Prophecy Seasons so firstly, just to make you aware, you should expect that release. Um, you know, we will do the first, the English version. So a first, uh, you know, version, which is only English in March. And then followed by the international version that will 
support all um, <clears throat> the languages I mentioned, uh, English, Japanese, uh, Chinese, Russian and French in April. So Prophecy 2023 will be very valuable for um, industrial manufacturing customers as it will provide a comprehensive process optimization software solution for engineers that will help our customers reduce variability and improve performance significantly with rapid time to value within six months by optimizing the settings and the set points in their process and plants either offline or in real time if necessary and with real time closed loop control where required using the latest in AI ML and optimization technologies delivered in a self-service assisted or turnkey way. In our experience, we see that customers get up to 10% or more productivity improvement. So what that would mean if we think about it for a moment, for an enterprise of 10 plants, if an enterprise of 10 plants, where if each plant um, is provided with a 10% productivity improvement through optimization with analytics, that would equate to the capacity, the additional capacity of one whole new, new plant for that and did not have to build or invest any capital in, which is so that is the kind of value that Prophecy Seasons can bring on top of our rest of our GE Prophecy product for our customers. So what's new? The key focus areas, the key new improvements that customers will get in this release would be that um, interoperability with the rest of our 2023 portfolio. So Prophecy C Sense 2023 will be fully interoperable and tested and seamlessly work together with the rest of the Prophecy 2023 portfolio. Also, in this release, we have made significant progress and improvements, uh, exciting improvement um, to now for the first time provide comprehensive control optimization capabilities using CSense. What this means is this release, CSense has the ability to monitor <clears throat> uh, all the PID control loops in, in, in uh, process plants, but not only monitor it, um, we've added auto modeling for auto tuning and the ability to, you know, uh, highly speed up the tuning of loops through the through of the control configuration uh, of similar loops in the plant also uh, with this release uh, we have made sure and tested that seasons analytics seasons can be deployed either on premise close to the process or the plant or on supported virtual machines in our customers' Azure or AWS cloud, virtual private cloud environments. What that enables is that customers can use the same analytics environment, the same single solution to develop analytics once and deploy them wherever they make sense, either on-prem close to the plant for real-time critical closed loop control applications or in their virtual private clouds on supported VMs for other non-critical, more sort of non-real-time enterprise type of analytic applications. Also, we've made great strides in, um, in scalability. We've uh, released significantly improved uh, runtime management tools that makes it now really easy to scale up on a, on a single CSense uh, runtime server to large numbers of analytics and made it much easier to manage uh, large deployments of, of CSense analytics uh, on a single server. So if we move on to, to drill into the, some of these main highlights, I, I, I want to focus on the comprehensive controller performance monitoring capability. So like I mentioned, this just summarizes that in this release, 20, seasons 2023 will provide comprehensive control loop performance monitoring and optimization capabilities. So firstly, it 
enables through the process plus uh, web operations uh, prophecy operations hub application it enables the monitoring customers can monitor the performance and health of all their pid control loops which often are hundreds maybe thousands um, in a plant typically residing in plc's dcs's and SCADA systems and to ensure they perform optimally and detect easily detect and identify any underperforming loops but now for the first time we have further improved the ability that once it's identified that some of those loops need um, need tuning our system identification assistant is now much improved to enable automatic modeling, automatic modeling of, um, you know, creation of process models from data. Uh, so meaning creating models, transfer function models that describes the behavior of how the process responds. And then using those models in our much improved tuning loop tuning assistant to automatically tune those loops and the automatically uh, recommended tuning parameters will then be displayed back on the monitoring reports so customers can compare it what is real what is currently implemented and choose to update their uh, loops in the plc dcs or SCADAs to the optimal recommended settings so just clicking into the um the uh, the much improved uh, automated modeling as I mentioned in, in this release, we've improved our system identification tool to now be able to automatically identify process transfer function models from historical data. Previously, customers had to automatically pick the model type they want to identify, but now CSENS will automatically identify the best transfer fun function model types as well as the parameters that best fit the data. These models can then be used in the tuning assistant to tune the loops or exported to Seasons Architect to, um, to actually simulate the process or be used for uh, simulation or advanced process control solution development. <clears throat> and then if we just uh, click into for a moment our newly improved control loop tuning assistant now enables automatic tuning of PID control loops. What that means is for the first time, we have expanded this tuning assistant to again, automatically, uh, you know, be able to pick the best tuning methods to um, then calculate the best recommended P and I and D settings for your PID controllers. Um, and then essentially, save your controller configuration uh, automatically so that next time if you have to tune similar loops you can just reuse that uh, uh, from the database also these recommended settings are saved back onto the monitoring reports and displayed so that engineers can see what what seasons is recommending for each loop and and then choose to update that in the dcs scada or plc or uh, these uh, tuned PID controllers can be exported to the CSENS architect and again used for simulation or for the development of advanced process control strategies using CSENS. So an example of this is that, um, <clears throat> you know, here is just an example of the benefits that uh, can come from uh, optimizing the performance of your control layer um for example pid control loops this is the performance of a uh, chemical dosing flow control loop in a hydrometeorological plant you can see essentially how the loop was oscillating a lot now what's really important to recognize here is that if your base layer pid control loops are not optimal Trying to optimize the process and the rest of the plant is like trying to put a plaster on a really septic wound. Uh, like I mentioned before, optimization needs to go across all layers of your automation stack. And that's exactly what Seasons provides. So in this example, you know, badly uh, unhealthy uh, PID loops will break your equipment, create a lot of variation and just make your plant more inefficient. Um, 
here I have another more quantified example of a gold producer <clears throat> that essentially just by optimizing the top 20 worst performing control loops in their, uh, you know, in their plant was able to improve recovery by 1.5% with an annual value of about a million dollars a year, significantly reduced, uh, you know, all sorts of disruptions in their plant. And again, you can see from, um, you know, most of the control loops that they typically find a lot of the time you require tuning to improve these loops also over time to maintain their performance. Um, so again, just highlighting the value of optimizing and continuing to maintaining optimal control layer performance. Just to highlight and remind uh, the audience that um, CSENS not only offers PID control loop monitoring and tuning, but also advanced process control, um, comprehensive advanced control, model predictive control, and real-time optimization capabilities, because often uh, a lot of the time PID control is sufficient for your base layer control, but sometimes you need on top of that Sometimes it's not sufficient. And on top of that, you need to uh, optimize the set points of your processes in your plants for which advanced control and real-time optimization is provided by CSENS. Just to um, move on to explain the architecture of the Prophecy CSENS 2023 release. Essentially, <clears throat> when a customer wants to start with CSENS, they will buy, invest in a CSENS runtime. Essentially, a CSENS runtime license are installed on a uh, server. It, like I said before, it can be on-premise for plant level, on-premise sort of more real-time analytics uh, solutions. It can also be deployed in, in the customer's cloud environment on suitable VMs in their virtual private cloud, either Azure or, or AWS. Um, and essentially, that the analytics uh, will run, the CSENS analytics run on that runtime server the runtime server typically consists of an application and a data server. It requires SQL server. You know, I mentioned that, that, that these components can be, you know, installed in various sort of uh, configurations to suit the customer's architecture. Typically, the data server can be centralized between multi if the customer has multiple runtimes. Um, and then on top of that, <clears throat> You know, uh, the results from, from, from CSENS, for example, the results from the control loop monitoring solution uh, is that then displayed via our web UI, which is Prophecy Operations Hub, uh, on customers' web browsers, tablets, or mobile devices from anywhere, as well as the analysis tools Prophecy CSENS Troubleshooter can be accessed uh, from customers either via remote desktop or natively installed on their laptops or desktops to analyze historical data from any of the OT systems, including the CSENSE data server. So to conclude our time together today, <clears throat> Prophecy CSENSE 2023 is our, you know, fantastic upcoming release uh, of CSENSE as part of the Prophecy 2023 portfolio release. You can expect the English version in March. The international version follow uh, soon after in April. And it will really provide comprehensive industrial analytics uh, for asset process and operations optimization. Highlights being that it will be fully opera, uh, interoperable with the rest of our Prophecy 2023 release. It will provide the industrial analytics for our Prophecy 2023 portfolio. Um, engineers and data scientists will be able to use it in a self-service easy way. It is a comprehensive solution that uniquely combines five capabilities in one product. This year, we have made considerable investment uh, which, you know, in, in the control optimization capabilities of CSENS, and therefore it will include for the first time comprehensive PID control of monitoring with brand new auto modeling and tuning of PID control loops. Um, you will be able to, in a flexible way, deploy your analytics or deploy CSENS either on premise or on suitable supported VMs in your cloud, uh, AWS or Azure cloud environments. And, you know, we've made significant progress 
in enabling you to easily large-scale deployments with improved runtime management tools. Lastly, I would like to remind the audience that we have a limited time offer for CSENS whereby any new customer that invests in any new CSENS license will be entitled to six hours of free consulting to jumpstart your adoption and time to value so that you can get rapid results um, on your CSENS investment. And to access this offer, you can use your mobile phone to scan uh, this QR code on the screen, which will take you directly to the offer on our website. Thank you. At the end of the day, right, this data enables them to get to the point where they are reducing waste, they are improving quality, they're reducing consumption. The impact we are having on the world, especially as we think about energy transitions, you know, reducing consumption that manufacturers, the challenges they face every day, we're, we're tackling real world problems.